over the past decade or so, the uh, Friday Fest concerts have become a staple of things going on in the summertime in downtown Greeley. Unfortunately, in 2020, those plans had to change a little bit, but for 2021, Friday Fest is scheduled to be back on. With us to talk about some of the fun that's coming this year, of course, is the uh, Director of Downtown Experience, Allison Hamling. Thanks so much for joining us again today. Thank you, and it is really a super pleasure yes, to uh, be for, here and doing this this year. <laughs> we actually get to say good news and things opening and happening instead of the other way around. That's right, yeah. <laughs> so the big news, Friday Fest for 2021 kicking off in May. That's right, the end of May, May 28th. We are kicking off Friday Fest, barring any changes in the health outlook currently uh, that since they dropped the outdoor crowd size limitations we were able to do friday fest that's the that's the call we were waiting for to make this happen because we really have no way to control the crowd size out on ninth street so um, when that came through we said okay we're going to go forward with friday fest it's outside we figure the ninth street pause is big enough people can spread out uh, to their level of comfort. They can be close in where the bands are and a little tighter with people, or they can spread out on the edges and the grassy areas uh, if they feel safer doing that this year. Yeah, people that have not been to Friday Fest before, it's, it's a nice layout because you have that, uh, the whole plaza blocked off, the stage right in the middle. People will probably be crowding up a little bit more in front of the band, but you can literally be a block of the way and still hear music just fine and be under your own shady tree and sip it a soda, something like that, or other, right. other beverages. Go Cup, I'm assuming, is going to be on par with these as well? That's right. Go Cup will be uh, in, in process at that time. We've already got the certification for that this year to happen. Um, you know, as long as people get vaccinated and we keep our numbers down and don't overwhelm our healthcare care workers, uh, we'll be able to start on May 28th. And we will have two bands that night, Hannah and the Cuddies and the Great Salmon Famine will be playing that night to open things up. Great Salmon Famine. i got to say that a few times in a row. I'm going <laughs> to trip over it. <laughs> uh, and that's the only night that we have the bands actually booked for uh, so far this year. But starting May 28th, uh, we go right into June 4th. It's going to be the Greeley Blues Jam kickoff, and that's always a big one, very, very popular one. June 11th, uh, the Greeley Chamber's planning kind of a takeover. So we're going to have lots of chamber members out here with tables and information for people. And then June 18th is the Greeley Stampede kickoff, and that gets to happen too this year. So it looks like we're really back at it. Friday Fest concerts, Blues Jam, Stampede. I mean, that's, that's a whole list of good stuff coming this way. And there's, there's a, lot of, a lot of logistics going on. I think a lot of people don't realize. So we appreciate all the work you guys have done to get these things put together for it. And you did mention that you don't have the other bands booked yet, but that's in the process. And if people want to find out, uh, I'm sure you'll get the website updated, but you can follow the uh, Friday Fest Facebook page. We'll be getting some little more up-to-date information. I'm sure some of those announcements come and people want to, join the fun and share it with their friends and family and plan ahead for the, the coming weeks of summer. But uh, if things go as planned, then all summer long, Friday night should be back fun to lots of outdoor people having fun. Yep, back to, uh, you know, we'll have the bubble machine out there and the sidewalk chalk for the kids and face painters and balloon artists. So uh, we're looking forward to seeing people back out and um, socializing, learning how to re relearning how to socialize mm -hmm. with each other this year. Um, you know, and we thought we, it's a little cold out today. We're hoping for good weather once Friday Fest starts the end of May. But we thought we'd take you back into the behind the scenes where the DDA keeps all the Friday Fest equipment. You know, over the years, we have purchased our own stage. We have purchased all our own sound and lighting equipment. So it's been it's been quite a haul. It's been so this is typically this is really our 10th year. It should be our 11th, but it's our 10th anniversary year of doing Friday Fest with Go Cup. 10th extra. 10th extra. Extra 10th, yeah. <laughs> it is kind of, this is the, the underbelly. If you have, it's, it's kind of the uh, behind the scenes look. Yeah. You imagine all this stuff for the Friday Fest concert. It's not just somebody sets up a chair outside and do have concerts. There's a full-blown set of all kinds of stuff and details you guys have to get it's back It's a here. lot of work. And you know what helps pay for all that work and getting the sound equipment out here and the sound tech and everything is our sponsors. Mm -hmm. um, you know, High Country Beverage has always been a loyal, loyal sponsor every year. Even last year when we didn't do Friday Fests, High Country stepped up with some money for us to help put tables outside so people could do the dining outside with the open container. Um, we've already got a lot of last year's sponsors are already, already booked for this year. They've said, yep, we're in. We want this night, this night, this night. Um, so we're opening it up to, to new sponsors now uh, so they can contact me at uh, allison at greeleydowntown.com if they are interested in sponsorship. It's allison with one L, so that's easy. Um, <laughs> so yeah, sponsors, bands are not all set in stone yet, 
but they will be, so watch the Greeley Friday Fest page, and we'll be updating our website at greeleydowntown.com. Fantastic, and you, you haven't let us down in a decade with bringing lots of great bands downtown, oh, so you. we're looking forward to that. <laughs> and I'm sure people can also support downtown businesses in general when they're down there, too, because you have the Friday Fest concerts, we have the sponsors think, but it's also a great experience when people can come down, and there's a lot of outdoor dining options that meet the health requirements and things that are around there, and people can grab beverages and do some shopping and uh, do some dinner eating and stuff like that, and I'm sure every downtown business would benefit from that as well. Yep. And Variety Fests are all paid for by sponsors and the Downtown Association of 9th Street Bars and Restaurants. So, uh, you know, they pay dues to make this happen every Friday. So they definitely appreciate people coming down and <laughs> eating at their establishments. It takes a village. It takes a village. Yes, it does. Well, thanks so much for the heads up. Congratulations. And we look forward to seeing what you guys can bring this summer. All right. We'll see you out there. All right. Greeley Friday Fest. Fingers crossed we keep things going the way they are. We'll be able to have Friday night fun all summer long. Get all the details at GreeleyDowntown.com or find their Facebook page with Greeley Friday Fest.